Um, Ryan and I both wanted to come up with an effective measure to reach students. For us, we had discussed the possibility of embedding like student researchers within my student research course. Before even coming to Saracoso College, I'm also a huge advocate of active learning, experiential learning, and service learning. So it was kind of a natural um, fit for us to come together to make this work for our students. We did several student experience surveys and we also did multiple focus groups. And through that we were able to listen to the students' voices rather than just seeing results on a piece of paper. And we're able to see what they want immediately and sort of what they would like to improve at the school. Well, starting in the fall semester, this previous semester, uh, I was part of a series of focus groups uh, to gather uh, qualitative data directly from students uh, that we were then able to uh, study after we gathered it. So the first uh, stage that we did was uh, doing the training in the Psych 271 class uh, and that really set us up so that we would have some expectations of how the research would go, right? And so then we were ready and we prepped four different focus groups we tried to entice as many students as we could to come uh, tell us anything they wanted to about guided pathways or issues in that direction or equity issues that they had in that direction. We talked for about an hour and a half, I think, and so that was really awesome to just have everybody uh, open up to us. We decided on our research questions based on a student experience survey that was conducted the previous spring semester. And we decided on the questions that we focused on because of the dramatic percentage that was revealed in the survey. For instance, some of the percentages would have been equivalent to a failing grade in college. I was in the Psych 271 class at Saracoso Community College. Once we finished our class, we were asked if we wanted to further on our research. Yeah. So basically more than half of us decided to continue on to see what kind of outcomes would That's come awesome. out with our research. How do you see your research impacting future and current students? We did several student experience surveys and we also did multiple focus groups. And through that we were able to listen to the students' voices rather than just seeing results on a piece of paper. And we're able to see what they want immediately and sort of what they would like to improve at the school. And so for current students, just sort of giving them that voice and hearing their opinions and sort of seeing, well, this is what they want, so why can't we fix this? And for future students, uh, one example that we saw is having a physical transfer center because we just have one on a website. It's not somewhere they can go on campus and talk to a real life person about it. So just having that resource would be incredibly important, especially because our community college, we want to see students transfer, we want to see them succeed. For current students, we found that paying for parking is one more obstacles financially that our students encounter and so we're looking forward to getting rid of paying for parking to alleviate that obstacle for them and for future students we are looking to create a food pantry. I think that in the beginning we learned the basic techniques of research like how to create the right methodology in order to create the good sample size in order to target what we want to accomplish. But with the current SPAR experience and trying to figure out the current enrollment status at our school, I think that we're really digging down deep into what creates Saracoso and what uh, creates our student population. What I've learned um, from our student researchers through this process is you know, they're so much more capable than um, what colleges and IR offices and administrators um, think, think that they're capable of. Um, they're so perceptive and they care, they care so much more about, in, in essence, the data and the information because it directly impacts them. And you know, even the, the student researchers that were introverts, they, they barely seem to speak up in class. Uh, something, something kind of awakened in them. I mean, there, there is an empowerment that goes on and it stays with them. And hopefully it stays with them after they leave Saracoso.